How do you get a Twitter feed embedded into your Google site? Hi, my name is Randy Fairfield, Mr. Ed Tech, and I'm a technology and instructional coach in the Richland School District, and today I'd like to help you do just that. Uh, it's a little involved, but I think if you're here watching this video, you're interested in doing it and going through the steps. So here's how it works. So I've got this Twitter feed right here that I've got embedded into my Google site. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this page and delete my feed, then add it back in and go through all of the steps uh, to show you how that can be done. All right, so where do I go from here? Well, the first place that I'll wanna start is um, by going and downloading this file right here. So I've got this file uh, uh, linked as an attachment here on Google Sites. And if you ever wanted to set your page up, you go to uh, page settings under the gearbox and you can write, uh, click here on the boxes on what you want to allow. So I wanted to allow attachments. And I attached this Twitter embed file here. It's an XML file that you'll be editing in Notepad. So you'll download that file. Once you've downloaded it, find the file in your downloads folder, uh, right click on it and open with Notepad. We're gonna edit this with Notepad. So this is our first step here. Now we've got this text that you need to replace with some embed code from Twitter. So here's where you go to get that embed code. So you go to your Twitter account. Up here, click on your profile and settings. Go to settings. From there, we want to go to widgets and you can create a new widget. I've got a couple different ones that display in different ways. Um, and there's all kinds of options when you're creating a widget. You can you know, change the height of it, the theme of it, if it's dark or light, um, on and on. There's all kinds of options in here as well to um, really customize your widget the way you want it. But after you've set it up, let's just say this is the one that I want to uh, embed here. You'll see there's a code right in here and it's not dis really displaying all that well uh, as far as making it easy for me to copy and paste it in any event if you click in here and then push control and a if you hold the control button down and then press a um, it'll select all so i select it all then i'm going to push control c to copy i'm going to go back to my notepad file highlight all of this text, control, control V paste. And now I've got the code for embedding the file. I'm going to save this notepad file, save the XML file in notepad. And now I need to add that XML file to my Google site. So the next step to do that is to go into your settings, uh, we're going to go to Manage Site. From there, Attachments. And you can see I've done this a couple times already. We're going to do it again. Upload. Twitter Embed File. I'm going to change the name just because I've got names uh, of files that are going to match. I've uploaded the file and voila, here it is. Okay, so now what? Well, we're gonna, t we're gonna find the location of that file on the Google site. There's a URL and it doesn't actually show right here, unfortunately. So what we'll do is right click where it says download. Then we will say copy link address. Now I'll just open up a new tab here and paste and you'll see I've got a URL here. Now, the URL, this code here, was to download the XML file, and I don't wanna actually download the file again. I've already got a copy of it. If I delete this out, that's the part of the code, uh, the URL that's gonna make me download the file. I'm gonna delete that out. And where it says .xml, that is the direct URL um, that gets at that XML file. I'm going to now copy that code, go back to 
the page that I want to embed the Twitter feed in, edit the page, go to insert, and we are going to say more gadgets right here. And there are some Twitter gadgets that they've um, put in here that don't work well at all. Um, they're not very functional. So we are going to say add gadget by URL. And as you can probably guess, we're going to take paste in here that XML uh, file, the link to it from our Google site and hit add. Now that we're here, we've got some options on how we want our Twitter feed to display. Do we want it to take up the whole page? I'll say no, maybe 25, eh, let's do 30% of the page. And let's have it be kind of tall. So tall and skinny feed, 30%, 500 pixels high. Yeah, we wanna be able to scroll up and down if it's necessary. Now nah, we don't need a border and I don't think we really need a title on this either. Then I'll hit okay. And there right now is my Google gadget that will display uh, the Twitter feed. Now I have some options. I can go back in here into the properties and edit this up again if I need to. I can align it to the left, to the center, to the right. I can allow text to wrap around it, which I'm going to because I'm gonna leave this Twitter feed here now and then put this YouTube video that I'm making right now right here. Then I'm gonna, and if I wanted to delete it, I hit that. Then I hit save. And if I did everything right, oh, there it is. There's my Twitter feed embedded into my site. It's a little tall. It's displaying a little wider than I thought it would. Let's edit the page and see why. Um, layout. Yeah, we got one column here. That's fine. Settings. It was a little too tall. Let's maybe shrink it down to 300. Try 25%. I don't know why it displayed so large. Um, hit save. And it's not aligning to the right either. But from this point, you probably would be able to mess with it enough. Uh, let's align it to the left. Hit the settings. Say 15. Save. Well, now it's doing the right thing. Let's edit that one more time. Settings. Bring it back to 30 and save. Hey, there it is. All right, so now I've got my Twitter feed uh, embedded on my page here. I'll put the YouTube video here next along with uh, written step-by-step -step instructions on how to do what I just demonstrated in this video. I hope that helps and um, looking forward to some uh, comments down here. If you have questions uh, doing this at all or need a little more direction, I'd be glad to help. Uh, always continuing to add more and more resources on uh, my Mr. Ed Tech site. Uh, this is a Google site here with all these Google Apps for Education resources. All right, have a great day.